Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here. We're back in the shave den and we're gonna try to do a shave today. I had uh, intended on doing several shaves last week, but I went to my uh, six month checkup with my dermatologist and they did a number on me with that liquid nitrogen. Uh, my nose, they got me uh, the forehead, they've got me here, they've got me in my beard and it's finally healed up enough that I think I can shave and I'm gonna give it a try. I might not shave too high on the sideburns, but we're gonna see what we can do today because I had a lot of new products just waiting to try out. Uh, the first, uh, kind of an interesting concept from uh, Denton Magic Soap Company. They actually, it's kind of a neat idea. They come with an unscented game changer base soap. Absolutely no smell, but they sell scents that you can drop one or two drops into the soap and you can make it whatever scent you want. So I'm gonna be trying, uh, they, they sent me a, a, few, a few samples to try, but what caught my eye was Masters of the Green. And this is an homage to uh, Creed, what is it? Uh, green Valley Creed. So if you like green Irish tweed, and Silver Mountain Water from Creed, this supposedly has the scent of that. So it's gonna turn that unscented soap into a really nice scented soap. So I'm gonna be trying that today. So those are new products uh, from Mark Denton from uh, Denton Magic Soap Company. Then from DS Cosmetics, I have, it's kind of cool because I'm actually going to be going away this uh, coming up weekend, a little getaway for a couple of days with my wife. So I'm going to be bringing, uh, this is a cool travel scuttle. Check that out. I usually use uh, my Van Mule, uh scuttle or uh, shea bowl, but I don't know. I'm hearing that their site is still down and uh, people are having trouble getting them. So uh, yeah, it gives you a little bit of an alternative. I like the handle and I do like the fact that uh, it's got the spot, the brush can just sit right in. Which brings me to the brush. You know, they may have had this concept out before, but I haven't seen it. It's kind of a cool concept. What we have is we have a Badger brush from DS Cosmetics that's adjustable. So what happens is you can unscrew this. Basically, you're sliding this tube up the brush and it's making the knot tighter and giving it much more backbone. So you kind of, I've never heard of an adjustable shave brush before, but I got to admit, <laughs> it's pretty cool. And it does have a DS Cosmetics name on that. So we're gonna be trying this out today. Also from DS Cosmetics, they're actually coming out with stainless steel razors now. A milled stainless steel tooled machined 316 stainless and I've got a slant that's still in the package that they sent me, but man, I don't know. I, I, I got a feel I'm gonna cut myself regardless. So I'm gonna save the slant for another time. But what they have is their model is, what is it? DS-Z as in zebra zero, a stainless steel. And the knurling on this handle is just tight, man. It, it, it is, it's got some sharp knurling that I can grip this tight without having to worry about it uh, slipping out of my hand. The head does, well, let's see here, does look like my uh, R41. My R41 is actually dirty now, but uh, <laughs> from my last shave, but it's very close, so I, don't know about the aggressiveness. We're going to find this out in today's shave. So let's get started. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope your new year is being good. Uh, like I said, it was a bunch of medical tests for me last week. I had to go to my six month kidney doctor, had to go to uh, the dermatologist. I go to the dentist on Monday. It was one week. I just couldn't get any shaves in. And I probably should have shaved before I went to the dermatologist, but I'm in desperate need of one now. So let us get this shave. Started. All right. So first thing, doesn't smell, but she's a badger. And I'm keeping my, this one tight. I'm not going to try the adjustments on it yet. That's, uh, I just want a, a nice mellow shave today. I don't want to try anything too fancy. 
So I'm gonna, whoops, there we go. Got it soaking inside the crystal skull. It kinda looks cool in there. I, I, do, I do like shiny, shiny metal objects. All right, now let's get the soap into the scuttle. I'm gonna use the scuttle today. So I've got my British 50 pence piece. I'm gonna take some of the soap just like this. Probably too much. Put it into the shave bowl. Just like that. Let's close the soap up and I won't lose this this time. I'll leave it right on the shelf right there. And let us open up the uh, Masters of the Green Scent. Their website has so many different scents that uh, you can try. And they give you this little dropper and they come in, what is it, five milliliter, two milliliter, or four milliliter. Look at that. So we'll do a couple of drops. Man, I'm gonna go for three. All right, three drops in there. I can now start detecting a scent. I, I have Creed but I have Creed Aventus. I have not smelled uh, the, uh, what is it, green Irish tweed scent from Creed, but I understand that's a very popular scent too. All right, I'm gonna lather up the bowl. Well, actually, I'm gonna wet my face first. And I hope I don't cut myself. It's always the fear coming back from the dermatologist that sooner or later you're gonna cut yourself. Yeah, the bowl's easy to handle. Yeah, now I can, now I definitely can uh, pick up some, some scents. It is no longer unscented soap. And if you work this for like 20 minutes, man, you'll have like an espresso foam latte there. Yep, we gotta work it a little more. Sun is shining again. Oh man. Sun is shining again in SoCal. Smells good. I think it's even in the sixties now. My daughter is going up to visit her boyfriend in Idaho next week, and I understand it's like <laughs> five degrees and <laughs> some parts of Idaho. Soap is definitely slick. And this brush has knurling too, because I'm getting it all over my hands. and it's easy to hold on to. This shave might go a little longer than my usual 12, 15 minute shaves, but especially since I haven't loaded the uh, razor yet. So I'm gonna use a Wilkinson Sword Gillette in here. Open this bad boy up. See the machining? Machine marks on it. I got a feather blade right here too, but no way. Oh, I dropped it. All right. I don't cut myself from uh, shaving. I cut myself picking up the damn razor blades. All right. Let's see. Oh, it's taking it down. It doesn't feel quite as aggressive as an R41. Wow. I haven't rehearsed with this damn one. I never rehearse. I shave for these with these new items. 
first time with you. Oh man, be careful. Very, very grippy. I've got the links to a lot of these products, almost all the products in this video, and I haven't really done my homework. So on an aggression scale, this is definitely more aggressive than a Mercure uh, 34 C or G but it doesn't quite feel. As aggressive as an R41, but man, to me, to me, this is my opinion, take it or leave it, it's close. Okay, here's where they burned me. Let's be careful here. already. That was about seven days worth of growth. It's taking it off right away. Got on the doctor's scale again, 215 pounds. What was I six months ago? 215 pounds. What was I a year ago? 200. I cannot get 205, but this is day nine of a very uh, kind of, my wife and daughter are vegan. So I've just been having salad and vegan patties for dinner for the last nine nights. So hopefully, hopefully I can shed some pounds. You young guys are probably thinking, who cares? But you older dudes know that the more you weigh, the more trouble you end up having. Blood pressure, cholesterol. Very nice. I just realized halfway through the shave that I... <laughs> I didn't decide, I didn't show you what aftershave I'm going to use. Now the thoughts are springing through my mind. Ah. I'm going to mix Creed Aventus <laughs> scent with green Irish tweed scent. And I'm going to skip that area because that's where my cut is right there. My burn. Man, the machined razors, you can definitely feel the difference between machined stainless and the usual chrome-plated brass. Man, I, I, well, if I had my eyes shut, this is shaving very close to an R41. Again, it's my opinion, take it or leave it. it. Just means don't talk when you're shaving. Two pass BBS. I am not going to complain.
It's like I got a tune-up on my body this week, man. All these damn doctors and dentists. Very smooth. I did not open up wounds. Well, at least not yet. All right. It's a bomb, okay? Creed Aventus. Oh, a little too much, right? No burn. Just a little too much. I'm dabbing the excess, I'm not wiping it off. There we go. What the hell? I'll make my wife happy. <laughs> Right. Very interesting brush. Very interesting brush. And this one's definitely a hit. It's coming with me. It's coming with me this weekend. It's like it was made for that. Look at that. It's like it was made for that brush. Well, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Happy New Year. I know it's been a week. I've got some brushes from Frank Shaving uh, to try out next. And uh, uh, other things are on the way. And I've still got that heated Gillette razor. I really need to unbox that and figure out how to make it work before I shave with it. But yeah, good. Back in business. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you watching the channel. Thank you very much for uh, your subscriptions. And please stay safe. Uh, my doctor told me, <laughs> the two doctors I saw this week, the doctor told me, do not go out of the house for uh, the next month. It's going to be, uh, Omicron is everywhere. But man, you, you, you got to live a life, right? So just be safe. You know, think about it. So stay safe. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. Till next time, it's Ken Surf saying, have a great day.